In this video, we'll show you how to use the objective heater on the iX81. So things you will need for this are whatever objective you're going to want to use, which is typically going to be an oil objective. There's not much point in heating an air objective. That's really not going to have much of an effect. And you also need this thing, which consists of a plug on one end and then a Velcro that we're going to eventually wrap around the objective. That's what's going to heat it up. So a few things to make your life easier. Uh, when you wrap this around the objective, it makes it very big. Um, so you have to take a few measures to ensure that it fits properly onto the objective turret. Uh, those are as follows. First, if you look here, one of the things we're going to do to generate more space is to remove the 4X from the microscope. here and then the other thing we're going to do is independent of whatever objective we're going to uh, put in the microscope we're going to set the microscope to position 6 which is corresponds to the 60x or 100x objective position the reason we're doing this is when we put the objective there we'll have the most room uh, to wrap around uh, the objective heater without interfering with other objectives As you can see here, I have a 40x oil objective, and I'm going to screw it into position number 6 on the turret. I've removed from position 1 the 4x objective, so I have plenty of room to do this. And I will have plenty of room to put on the objective heater. You can see here the objective heater, the Velcro that's going to wrap around the objective, and the plug that will need to be attached to the rest of the Takai hit to power it up. The first thing I like to do is to take this plug and thread it behind the 10x objective. So I have uh, plenty of room. The other thing we need to do is make sure that this ends up in sort of where that cable inserts into the Velcro ends up in a kind of comfortable position. What I found is if you place it so that it is at the top and then you wrap around the Velcro, That leaves it, once it's um, kind of pulled a little bit closer to it, that leaves it in a pretty reasonable position. Um, so you can see that this is now ready to, um, to be plugged in. And so what that is going to imply is we're going to have to grab the plug on the end of the cable, so this, and connect it uh, to the corresponding plug on the cables that are in, in turn connected to the Takai hit controller. Before we can plug in the objective heater to the rest of the Takai hit, we need to follow all the other steps. Um, so those are outlined in the other sort of normal startup video. So once you've done all of those things, then uh, you can come back to this video and I will show you how to uh, plug in uh, the objective heater. So here you see this is the plug that comes from the objective. This is the plug that comes from the controller. If you look closely at this, it has a little tab right there. That little tab needs to fit into a groove, which you can see there at the top. So once you put them on, they're magnetic, and then you can, uh, once they're sort of aligned, you can push this in so that this thing with the arrow is aligned with the other arrow, and then you rotate it, and you'll see that they are firmly secured. If the cable seems tense, you can give it a little bit more slack from up there. And then once you plug it in, what you'll find is that on the Takai hit controller, there will now be a number where it says lens heater PV. That uh, indicates that you have successfully plugged in the lens heater.